A lot of people in Sandpoint were watching the presidential race very closely because that's where Sarah Palin was born. But it is the new president-elect that is sitting well with at least one neighbor in Sandpoint. KXLY 4's Andy Bishop live in North Idaho tonight. And Andy, you spoke with an old school friend of Barack Obama's. And Dino Wall is ecstatic. The boy she used to call Barry will now be the next president of the United States. It's a picture of presidential-elect Barack Obama as we have never seen him before. The year was 1979. This is my brother right here, and obviously this is our next president. And this is their high school graduation party um, in my front yard. Dinah Wall first met Obama when she was in third grade at Punahou, a private school in Hawaii. He was two years older and her brother's best friend. He was such a nice guy. He was always one of my favorite of my brother's friends. He was just always nice and he was always an extremely good writer. He used to um, write uh, quite a bit um, for uh, um, the uh, school publications that we had. Her brother has stayed close with Obama over the years. And I think his last uh, conversation with him was over the weekend. He said, um, you know, I'm ready. You know, because he, you know, asked how he was doing, and he said, "I'm ready." She never imagined the boy she called Barry would one day be president. I think the biggest decision of his life that led him down this path was after law school. He was offered a lot of very high-paying jobs with Wall Street firms and so forth, and instead he chose um, to go back for very little money to Chicago and become a community organizer. And I think that was the biggest turning point in his life that led him on the path to where he is now. When Obama announced his candidacy, Dino started campaigning bumper stickers to buttons. She watched the historic election unfold from her living room last night. It's incredible. It's so great. And I think it's so good for us, not just um, domestically, but internationally. I feel like the whole world was celebrating with us last night. It's, it's going to be um, a, a new era, just a really a new era. And I'm glad that, uh, that uh, um, I got to see that. And Dino's brother is now making plans to attend Obama's inauguration in January. Dino, though, still deciding whether or not she can make it. Dave Robin. Oh, well, we sure hope so. Well, can you tell us more about what uh, Obama was like in high school? Well, Dino said that basically just regular teenage activity. She said her brother and Obama would play basketball together. And then, of course, living in Hawaii, she said they would often go to the beach to go body surfing. Back to you.